Thank you so much, my cousin Ian. And good afternoon, everyone. Um, as the executive director of Affinity, Affinity Intech Cultural Foundation, I would like to thank you for taking time of your busy schedule to attend today's uh, lunchtime lecture, which was organized in partnership with Fountain Magazine. The motto of Fountain Magazine written behind me on uh, the banner is reserve in your heart a seat for everyone. That's amazing motto. And also our motto is the Building Bridges Dialogue Education Service. This afternoon, uh, to be honest with you, the topic is relevant to my PhD. I'm really inspired and I really am deeply inspired by your uh, um, uh, ideas. And also I was looking at uh, John Locke, 17 years and uh, 17 centuries and philosophy. Now you are 21st uh, century's philosophers. I'm going to address your statements to, in my PhD. And I'd like to this afternoon, our, our Fountain Magazine lecture series concludes with Professor uh, Paul Weller. I call him my cousin from UK. Often uh, confused, as you mentioned, that uh, famous UK singer-songwriter uh, of the same name, uh, but I think he is the real Paul Weller. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for your engaging and insightful presentation. It was amazing, very uh, uh, delightful. I'd like to thank Professor Ian Benson, he's my new cousin uh, from, uh, from Sydney, uh, for sharing his time and expertise in facilitating today's program. I'd like, uh, also like to thank the Light Bookshop for generously sponsoring today's program. Uh, thanks to our sponsors, everyone will walk away with the current issue of the Fountain magazine. Um, now, I would like to call on uh, Peter Grace and State Coordinator of Mission and Student Wellbeing from Catholic Schools New South Wales to present a gift to Professor Ian Benson. And the old gifts from my uncle shop, please, and Peter, on the stage, and Ian Benson, please. A gift for you, Ian. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Ian. Yes. And now another um, distinguished, uh, my you know, newly extended families, I will call her. I'd like to call on uh, my auntie Janet, actually cousin Janet Morrissey, lead author of The Living Religion, to present a small gift to my cousin. She's from UK. Maria, please. And Life of Paul Vallers, please, on the stage, a special gift for you. And to remember us in UK. <clears throat> Thank you, cousins. Before we go, I'd like to invite you all to Affinity's next lunchtime lecture, uh, lecture happening on Thursday, 15 March, with two law academics, Professor Raleigh from Sydney University and Professor Michael Adams from Western Sydney University. They will be discussing the topic of teaching ethics to future lawyers at Affinity. This event will be facilitated by Professor Mary Crock from Sydney University. And if you attend our events at the end of last year, you will have heard me the promoting the International Festival of Language and uh, Culture, which Affinity Amity College are proudly, proudly co-hosting on Saturday, 5 May, at the International Convention Center, ICC, Sydney. Now I'd like to show you a short 45-second video promoting the event. Please, Brock.
I warmly invite you to join us for this wonderful celebration of fun, festivity and diversity. You can find more information on this festival and all the events I have mentioned on our website. And once again, thank you for your attending our programs. I look forward to seeing you again at our future events. Thank you.